Right, what's going on? Welcome back to 100% NUFC. So we're just outside at Nine Bar, uh, having a drink with Pity Prolock. Uh, go and subscribe to him on YouTube. Uh, we're going to be talking all things Newcastle United, of course. Uh, we're going through a bit of a rough patch at the minute, a bad time, uh, considering that uh, Rafa Benitez has just left the football club and we are about to sell Ayosef Perez. So the bad news just gets worse. Now, Peter, what's your thoughts uh, about Rafa Benitez leaving the football club? Of course, I haven't had you on the channel for at least a good few months now, and a lot's happened since then. Of course, we've stayed in the Premier League. We were all sweating on Rafa Benitez staying at the football club despite uh, the takeover. Uh, what do you think of Robert Benitez leaving the football club to go and sign for Dalian Yifang in China? It's heartbreaking, isn't it? Um, can we blame him for leaving? Not particularly, no, because the ambition at this football club is zero. And um, that contract he was offered not that long ago didn't have assurances that he wanted and he was never going to sign for it. So I was a bit 50 50 that will he sign, will he not sign, but I'm te technically. Not surprised at all. He's decided to move on, go to China, where he'll get more ambition. Because has he ever had uh, ambition, uh, Rafa, from Mike Ashley before? He hasn't absolutely. really. He's absolutely not. So it is devastating that we've let the top manager go. But as fancy, we can't blame him at all, can we? Yeah, you're spot on. I mean, if you look at Rafa Benitez, look at his track record. You know, he's been at all these different clubs. He's been to you know, Liverpool. He's been to Napoli. He's been to Real Madrid, Chelsea. And he's won things. You know, he's well respected in the game. And uh, it's no surprise that Mike Ashley's let him go, if, who Mike Ashley is, what he's done in 12 years. It's not been brilliant. You know, we've always been on a downward spiral. And, um, you know, if you look at the sort of the contract that he was offered, apparently he was offered a one year extension, which I think is wrong, considering that he's just got us out of the championship. We've had two consecutive stays in the Premier League, a top 10 finish, a 30th place finish. Yes, we've finished one point better off than the season before in the Premier League. But what do you think about the, you know, the 50 million uh, transfer kitty for the summer? with possible you know, player sales on top of that. I don't think that's right. Well, it's definitely not right, but we hear, we hear that every time as well, and it's it's not, it's not a load of rubbish every time. You know what happens where a lot of the money goes, it just sits in the fact that it's in the pocket every time. So, we're, us fans, we're not falling for the lies anymore. We know it's lies every single time. What comes out of my gosh. Of course, I'll uh, hit on the takeover in a second, but. At the moment, uh, apparently, Ayose Perez could be moving to Leicester City for £30 million. Pounds. So, here comes the exodus of players you know, potentially leaving the club now that Rafa's gone. Uh, what do you make of that? And do you think he's only the first of many to come? Again, how thinking how worse is this going to get now? Let my top goal score a goal last season. To be honest, there was actually quite a mix of uh, reactions on this. Some people were actually not that bothered he was gone because he's like, people say he's a player, turns up half a season. Like first talk, he's as people see he's like Bambi on ice, and second half of the season he plays well. But it's just the annoying thing most is will we see any of that 30 million? Absolutely well, not. Well, this is it. I mean, I was saying if Perez does go for 30 million pounds, Mike actually being who he is, he'll probably give the club five million pounds and we'll probably get a striker in who we've never heard of from Germany, Spain, wherever. And he'll try and get him good, then try and sell him on for more. Mike actually is all about the money, he's a businessman, of course, that's what he is. Um, now we'll have to allude, of course, onto the takeover. Now this has been going on for you know a while, uh, at least over a month and a half now with the Bin Zaid group. Uh, the more I hear about it, the more skeptical I, I am of it. I mean, I always have been skeptical, of course. I will put that out there. Um, I haven't been a big um, sort of believer that it's going to happen because we've had this before. Uh, what's your thoughts on uh, the potential takeover? Do you think uh, that this is going to happen? I've not given up on it yet. I'm still a bit optimistic that it could still happen. I think did every where all the documents sent off to the Premier League, well, that's what they claim it is, but um, if that's the thing that needs to happen now is the takeover because it's looking absolutely worrying going into the next season so far, but I've not given up, given up on it fully yet, but so fingers crossed it still happens, but I know a lot of fans have said that nah, it's not going to happen. Some say yes, it is, but Will I be entirely shocked that if the takeover doesn't happen? No, because Ashley, for what he does. But, as I said, I've not given up, given up on it fully, so I'm still hoping it'll still go through. So do you think the reason why Mike Ashley is trying to start Perez for 30 million is, is a way of sort of trying to strip the club to the bare bones to try and get as much money as possible to potentially, you know, get the owner to to buy to buy the club and to, to sort of sell up? Do you think that could be another reason why he's selling all of our better players, just to try and... Uh, Get it, normally. Uh, yeah, probably, absolutely. But um, 
it's just, just, oh, it's just the feeling of it, just thinking, is it just Ashley's own tricks? Again, loads of money and not be spent on the club. If it does, it'll just be bare spin minimum, minimum. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because it was just Ashley to pocket more money. So, when you see this video, of course, the players will be reporting back to training on Thursday. Um, of course, we're not going to have a new manager uh, as of yet. You know, we're going to have no manager. We're not going to know who's taking over the football club now. Of course, we've had the likes of Gary Monk linked. We've had Arteta linked, uh, Briera linked. Uh, what's your thoughts going forward in terms of a manager? Um, because at the minute, it's quite worrying knowing that Neil Redfern and Sean Yobi could be sort of stepping in for the trip to Asia, which, to be fair, I don't understand why Newcastle would be entered into a competition over in Asia uh, for a tournament that we're not even going to win. I mean, we're not even... You know, we're not even prepared for it. You know, we've got a manager. I mean, surely Newcastle would have told the sort of the Premier League Asian tournament that we you know we're not going to have a manager. We might be going for a takeover. You know, we, we, we might not be able to sort of go through with this tournament. But the fact that they've gone you know, through with the uh, tournament, we're in this situation. Do you think it was a good idea or a bad idea? Oh, it's an absolutely bad idea. I mean, like, well, it's just Mike Ashley's staff. He's running the club, or oh, do not have a run football club? Or yeah, no. So. There you go, it's just like, they just have zero clue about football whatsoever, so, it's absolutely my life. Just let the bike pass a little bit, but... Right, anyway, so, we've got, in the minute, we'll, obviously we'll be linked with all these different managers. Let's just say the worst case scenario, Mike Ashley is the owner next season. Out of all of the managers that have been linked with Newcastle, even if they haven't been linked, uh, who would you take next season? Oh, that's a tough one, because so far on that list, I don't think I'd take any of them at all. Oh. <laughs> I can be. Uh... It's a hard one, isn't it? it because is, we, don't, we don't know if we're going to get sold or if we're going to have. Mike Ashley, this is the problem. I would, I would say, in my opinion, and this is only my opinion only, I would take Roberto Martinez from Belgium. I know he probably wouldn't come, but he would be a safe bet. Yeah, just because he got sacked from his last two Premier League jobs, and that's what's the you know, he done, he done well at Wigan Athletic, you know, when the FA Cup, and he done well at Everton as well, so, um, for me, he'd be a safe option. Yeah, I think he actually, yeah, uh, because he's got more, a bit more Premier League experience than he'll do with Gary Monk. He struggled with um, Swansea, uh, didn't he? So, and Patrick Vieira, he's got, like, he's, don't think he's got the experience in the Premier League at all whatsoever. Right, so we're now speaking to Archer. So, Archer, of course, we're going for a bit of a tough period at the minute as Newcastle fans probably... I wouldn't say the worst in the club's history, we've probably seen worse, but what's your thoughts about Rafa Benitez leaving the football club and how do we go from here? Uh, so, that's an absolute joke. Uh, I just I just can't believe uh, that we've, we've let, um, well... Well, best manager leave. Let our best manager go to, to China. Like, like if, you, if, you go, if you go way back when, you, when we got him, 2015-16 season, Obviously, I think you only had about like ten games to keep up to keep us up, and the game have been uh, Tottenham uh, five one. That was a crap game. The fans were singing his name, weren't they? Uh, and, uh, he said the, that in his statement. Yeah, they, they wanted them to wanted them to, to stay, and see we went in the championship, got the back up. Um, but for me, I don't understand like for the players that were that were that were got. I don't think Rafa. Um, got got that out of it, but I think it would. I think it was Mike Ashley and Lee Johnny that must have done all all that. But Rafa Benitez, all the way the uh, the uh, stay for us. I don't think he's got got out of out anything out of Mike Ashley at all. I think he's done well given the circumstances, and I've said that before in, on the channel. Um, I mean, of course, you know, you got us out of the ship, really. I mean, you got us out of the championship. You didn't have to stay. Let's yeah. be real. You know, he's a top quality manager. He'd done that. He's seen the potential in the football club first and foremost, and he got us out. Like I say, he got us out of the league, the championship, in the Premier League. He got a top ten finish, which nobody was expecting. You know, in the uh, first first it, season it, back, uh, second season, that was the last season, we finished thirteenth, which I think is decent given you know the expectations of the football club. And uh, we were all sweating on Rafa Benitez, of course, signing a contract, hoping that a takeover, you know, would happen as well. Of course, a yeah. takeover hasn't happened. We've got Megashi still for now, and. Uh, you know the fact that they've let, 
you know, the club have let him go is no surprise in the sense that, you know, Rafa Benitez said in his statement on Monday yeah. that the board and obviously the manager, sorry, the owner, they don't share the same vision. And uh, that is quite worrying for all you know, Newcastle fans going into the new season because if you're going to let your better manager go or the best manager that we've had in years, yeah. you know, since the likes of not Chris, not Chris, Chris, Bobby Robson, right. what does that say about going forward? I mean, there's no forward direction if he's here, you know what I mean? That, that tells you everything of Rafa Benitez is saying that. I know, it's just an absolute joke. Like, I totally agree with you. Like, Rafa Benitez has been one of the best managers since uh, like Chris Hewton and Sir Robbie Robson, but uh, like, the, like the manager that we had in the past, like the Paul Jules, McLaren, oh, yes, man. they're all have all been absolutely shock at shit. Um, but uh, I think like, I'm, I just don't understand what's, what's going to happen to this club, what's going forward, what's, what is going to happen to this takeover. It's, it's either what is actually going to happen? Is, is it going to happen or is it not going to happen? Is it just one of these Mike Ashley's uh, circumstances, like when I had the man of and the, the the other guy who was interested? Sort of like a paper over the cracks, sort of not to buy any players of the distraction of, you know, of not having to, you know, satisfy the fans and things like that. You know, let's just go through the summer and let's, you know, sort of wind the fans up a bit more because that's what I've done for 12 years. Um, obviously, I'll sort of put you on the spot a little bit. Do you think? That the takeover is going to happen. Right. The head is saying, the head saying no, but the heart saying yes. I think it's very complicated, isn't it? Because yeah. of course, Mike Ashley wants. He, he sort of puts a price on the club. He'll say, right, I want three hundred and fifty million for the club, and then he'll say something like, I want four hundred million. He's always trying to bump up the price when the offer's already there. Yeah. I mean, you know, you look at the Finns I group. I don't know them very well, of course. I mean, well. if not at all, but. Watching some of their videos, they seem quite a, a positive group that they want to try and take the club forward. They see the potential of the, you know, the football club. Uh, the fact that Mike Ashley has been allowed to strip the club to the bare borders, which is what he's doing now. Yeah. Uh, what's your thoughts sort of going into the new season? I mean, of course, we've got at the minute the, the players, when you see this video, they'll be reporting back, uh, you know, for training tomorrow. It'll be Thursday when you see this, the, the day that they're back. And of course, we're not going to have a manager. Uh, we're going to have Neil Redfern uh, with Sean O'Neill going to the Asia, uh, you know, Asia Cup. Uh, it's a mess, isn't it? That's an absolute complete, completely mess. This, what's going on at the club? Like, just didn't understand what's going on. Like, if you look at it, right, we're in, we're in July now, and we're having the the transfer window is closing in a, roughly in about four and a half weeks' time. Yeah. We haven't signed a damn player. No shocker. <laughs> and. Rafa's gone and now Perez is having a medical at Leicester for 30 million. And like you were saying off camera, we'd be lucky if we get about £5 million from that £30 million sale of Perez. And I just think, in my opinion, this is just my thought. I think this is the first of many to come if yeah. Perez's going. I think if that's the case, we'll see the likes of Shaw leaving, we'll see Richie leaving, Hayden. we'll see Hayden leaving, he's already out the door. Shelby will be gone. And then obviously Almir. I mean, what do you think about Almir? Apparently, you know, Real Madrid are sort of looking into him. I mean, I the way things are going at the minute, he probably would be out the door. Given Mike Ashley. Like if like if Al, if Almir on if Almir on goes, he's is just an absolute joke. Um, the the fans the fans love him. He's only been at the club for six months, and we signed him for what 20, 20, and a half, 20 million or something or twenty one million. Yeah. And. And he he loves he loves the club, um, but for me he, he should he should stay he should stay at the club. Um, never mind um, all the potential talks that he could be interested could be going to Real Madrid. But like, for me, I can't say it. But they they've got like some. Um, they've just seen, they've just signed Hazard from Chelsea. So I, I'm not gonna I can't say say it for the Spain. So let's look at the sort of worst case scenario. So let's just say Mike Ashley's still owner and yeah. we'll have got a manager yeah. sort of by the middle of July, so that's probably the next week or two. Yeah. And uh, or even sort of the end of, all, uh, end of July, if I haven't got a manager in, uh, yeah. what's your expectations for next season? Because again, we're not going to be able to sign any players until we get a manager in and we know what's going on with the takeover. What's, what's your expectations for next season? Because I'll give you mine right now. If we don't buy any players and we don't get a manager in, right, on the same level as Rafa Benitez, I'm sorry, but we're in a relegation battle. Yeah. Um... Um, I'll, 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 
definitely saying the same thing. Like, I've, we're, de we're def definitely, the, definitely this season we're going to be fighting for relegation, relegation this season. Um, but it, it, obviously, it's, it's going to happen because we've got the, the clubs in a mess. We've got name, got, got name manager. We haven't signed him, signed a player. This club. Newcastle United sitting home in St James's Park with 52,000 Jordies. Yeah. We we should we should be aiming for like top ten, top six max. Not not, not not fighting relegation after relegation constantly every season all the time, and then it and end up to be like the next to be ending. Oh, it's Sunderland, we don't want that. Can I just be brutally honest as well with the viewers? Like, I generally thought when we had Rafa Benitez as manager, right, he got from the Championship into the Premier League. I generally thought that there was good times to come and that yeah. Rafa Benitez would have been backed, you know, going into the next season. And I thought that we could have, you know, moved forward as a football club. Yeah. Um, I just think now enough's enough. I really do. Like, you know, the protests of last season, I thought they were very tame. And I know it's been said on other YouTube channels, but I think now we need to sort of make a stand and sort of not go back. Uh, until, he's, until he sort of sells up. I mean, I'm not against the fans that want to go next season. If you want to go, that's completely fine. You're entitled to support the lads, you're entitled to go to the ground, that's fine at your club. But I think the more that we make a stand, the more, you know, he's going to look and think, I'm not making any money. Yeah. I need to sell up. Uh, what's your thoughts about the other protest for next season? Are you for or against it? Uh, I'm definitely going to go for, uh, definitely for protesting uh, this, this season, like, because I can't start my gosh, you want to he needs to leave the club. So yeah, that's just uh, Archer's thoughts uh, for Aussie next season. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the little mini podcast. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget uh, to go along and subscribe to 100% NUFC. And also thank you very much to Peter in the background as well uh, for recording this podcast. Go and subscribe to his channel, as I've said at the very start. PD product, link will be down below in the description. So go and help them along for 500 subscribers. Very good YouTuber. Talks a lot of sense about Newcastle. And also hit the thumbs up, all right? See you later. Have a way, the lads. Bye, lads.